Having a look today at shorting Euro stocky, a couple of reasons for this uh, on the on the stocky side of things. Uh, we've seen, despite a lot of the recent uh, Euro resilience, that this is one of the smaller currencies that has made us a more solid comeback versus uh, the very strong, broadly strong uh, Euro. And we have a bit of central bank divergence as well here from the most recent uh, respective Riksbank and ECB meetings. At the Riksbank meeting, we're finally seeing the Riksbank taking a bit of a, a breather here after a pretty hectic pace of easing. Uh, stepping up is quantitative easing, dropping that rate to minus 0.35%. Uh, as obviously, it's it's taken a lot of toll on the, on this uh, Swedish exchange rate, and their latest CPI data shows a plus 0.9% on the core year-on-year -year reading. On the ECB side of things, they're very unhappy, obviously, with the recent uh, extreme strength in the euro, and they were very out very aggressively talking down the euro indirectly through a very dovish uh, guidance. So that combination has put some pressure on Eurostocky. We've bounced up towards the resistance area and we're looking to sell it down towards the old range below 930. Now, technically speaking, we've seen a bounce here after the very strong sell-off and we're looking at uh, a shorting here just below the 945 area resistance or at 945. The stop, we, it's a very choppy chart, so we have to allow some slippage back above 950, putting a stop at 951, uh, above 951. And uh, looking lower, we're looking for a, a follow-up move that takes out 930, half our profit target there, the other half towards the bottom of the old range. We won't get so aggressive and try for 920, but 922.50 uh, is the second target. As we're looking for uh, this uh, rather elevated pair, if you look at where Eurostocky is trading historically, just sort of mean revert back into uh, the lower part of the recent trading range.